you too. Have you seen Mr. Fox? I can't find him anywhere. Oh no, look what I found. Oh, Mr. Fox is gone. Oh no, what do we do now? By the way, welcome to Talk for Writing Class, lesson three. You guys, check this out. Mr. Fox is wanted. How is that possible? What did he do? Can you think about it? Today, I want to talk about our objective straight away. We have to find Mr. Fox before anyone else. Don't worry, I have a plan. We will make lots of wanted posters and we're going to put them everywhere. But in order to do that, we have to describe Mr. Fox. And when you describe someone, you have to use adjectives. So our objective today is to learn how to use adjectives to describe Mr. Fox. Okay, let's do it. What is an adjective? It's a word that describes a noun. It gives you more information about the noun, tells you more. For example, here's a sentence. There was a spider in the bathroom. Can you find the noun? That's right, it's spider. Now, can you use adjectives to describe the word or the noun spider? Here's what I got. There was a huge hairy spider in the bathroom. Huge, very big. So huge and hairy are adjectives that describe the noun spider. Okay, here's another example. I found a ladybird on a leaf. Oh, I have two nouns here. Can you find them? That's right. It's ladybird and leaf. Now, can you describe them? Let's see. I found a tiny ladybird on a big leaf. Tiny, very small. So tiny describes the noun ladybird and big is an adjective that describes the noun leaf. Okay, one last example. A butterfly flew into my house. Where is the noun? Butterfly. Now, can you describe the butterfly? Yes, I can. A blue and white butterfly flew into my house. Blue and white are adjectives that describe the noun butterfly. Good job. Now, let's talk about alternative adjectives to expand your vocabulary. Instead of always repeating the same adjective, Small, small, small. Like the car is small, the leaf is small, the house is small. You could use other words or other adjectives that have the same meaning. Instead of using and repeating the, the adjective small, you could say tiny or microscopic. Instead of repeating big, you could say enormous, gigantic, large, huge. They all have the same meaning. For example, small. You could say, this kitten is small, but you could also say, this kitten is tiny. Or viruses are small, but you could say, viruses are microscopic, like very, very small. For big, instead of saying, an elephant is a big animal, you could say, an elephant is an enormous animal. It has the same meaning, like very, very big, enormous. Now, instead of saying, we climbed a big mountain, you could say, we climbed a gigantic mountain. And instead of saying, we need to buy a big pizza, you could say, we need to buy a large pizza. And here's the last one. That is, a huge piece of wood. 
you could say that is a big piece of wood. But you could also say that is a huge piece of wood. Okay, let's move on. For pretty, you could say beautiful, cute, lovely, gorgeous. They all have the same meaning. For example, what a beautiful dress. What a pretty dress. What a gorgeous dress. They all have the same meaning. For happy, you could say delighted or pleased. For sad, unhappy, miserable. For example, I was delighted to see my friend. I was happy to see my friend. Or I was pleased to see my friend. By the way, an adjective could also describe a feeling. So here, we're describing a feeling. I was happy, or I was delighted, or I was pleased. For sad, he is miserable about losing his job. You could also say, he is sad about losing his job. Now, my friend is unhappy with his new school. 